morning. You've been here all night. You forgot about me last night. <laughs> Um, yeah, Monday morning, van's passed, it's MOT, flying colours, it's going in for service in a couple of weeks. So, we've been to Hodgson's and hired this baby, with all the gear, I think it's £20 plus fat for the day. Yep. There's our staff, tripod, and the reason we need a, a laser level is for mm. this. So this is our next project to get our teeth into. We're currently waiting on the blocks, which I think a lot of people are doing at the moment with the shortage of materials. This is it, it's going to be just a big square building, uh, like a summer house kind of thing at the front. Block, work, block wall across here for a workshop. Just seen the skin block work with pillars. We're going to put expansion joints down the middle. The majority of this bit's going to be overhand which we can handle that. Um, yeah, we're just going to get the laser level out and just check the slab for level. Bit, bit of a bit of a um, bit of a length for a straight edge. Standard really, a pike at each end. So we're just getting the laser level set up just to check check our corners, check there's no humps in it, and then we can just find our high spot to work on. And what we're going to do is, because there's no materials here, <coughs> we're going to get the levels done. We're going to nip off to home. Home, yep. While we've got the laser level, and we're going to, because the garden's not started yet, we're going to get the, put some levels on the garden, just while we've got the laser level. It's 50 quid for the week, so we'll just get it done today while we've got no materials. I know I'm waffling now anyway, but let's get this thing done. Get this thing done. <laughs> Give it a swing. I don't drop it. It's not ours. Right, so th this is a quick one. Just how to set up a laser level. Not obviously those people know how to do this, but not everyone does. Set your tripod up. See that? Locate the screen. Yeah, that's better. It feels weird using a laser level and there's no mud. Yeah. It's weird to a clean laser level too. Yeah. Yeah, obviously we used to use these all the time in the foundations. So, here's the button, mate. Oh. Once, you, once you switch it on. We can hear it. Uh, excuse the noise, that's a sawmill next door, but. I'll just try and if you can hear it. Try and get the microphone so you can hear it. But what it's doing is it's leveling itself. There you go, once it's level, off it goes. So, this is the receiver. Yep, comes in two parts. Not always. Just for ease of trans transportation, storage. Yeah. And because it's a high one, it, it, the batteries will be charged. Huh, thank God. Well, if not, it's just a charger. Huh? Yeah. Then obviously you can. There you go. Might be too close, that. Oh, yeah. That's how it works. So, what we're going to do is, get a brick on each corner, make sure they're the same bricks, and then, what's, what that means is, you're slightly elevated off the floor, so, ow! If you need to go down with the level, you can go down and we can put a mark on. You can take that to the far corner, mate.
Uh, no, just need a pencil. Okay. And uh, a safety tip: don't look at the laser. Yeah. But it's so pretty. Right, and let's start here. There's the. Uh... There you go. So we'll start here. Then. You your pencil first. Yeah, go on. Is it rolling now? Yeah. Let me just look. So your receiver usually comes at a level as well. Sometimes it's just a a, bu a bubble like that, or if you're lucky, on you get top. one at the top. So we're just getting a rough estimation, though, aren't we? So yeah, just pick a corner. Oh, you want to move that first? Hmm? That first. You set it on the staff first, then that's our dating then. Right. Okay. So this is our first corner. This is what we use as a datum. Right, so, in an ideal world, if these lads have done, the, done it all, I think they've done it with a laser level, but it, that's, that should be a flat line on every corner now. So let's go. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> it does look good actually, it look nice and flat. That's one. You, you can't see me, I've got a big smile on my face. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm not used to this. I think <laughs> I'm used to it being bloody 50 mil. Remember we had one that was 50 mil at a level? 50 mil, yeah. 50 mil. Pick 50 mil up in two courses. You've also got it on the back as well. Oh my god. I've, never, it, we've, I've been working for what, five years? I've never seen it. I've been working 35 years, I've never seen that. That out. Now what we do is now is pick a brick up. Just try it in three, right, three spots. Checking for humps now. Take one to the middle. Stick it down, try that. My God. Right, about here, because there's a wall going here. Hi. Right, so take it down the brick. That's it. Right, so 20 mil high. 20 mil. But that's just on that one wall. So take take your brick across. We'll check two thirds. We'll check it in thirds. So just got a slight hump in it there. That's not a problem. Very slight hump here. That's about 10 mil, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, again, that's like slightly high. That's like 5 mil, that's nothing. Right. That's, that's, and that's, no, and that's low. Again, there's nothing there. Yeah. That's like, that's is, that, like is that a measurement on it? Is that 5? I think so, yeah. Well, five, I've never seen that before. Five mil. Right. Five, five mil. mil. So check that one again, see what it says. You can see that, see where it's just with really Yeah, it's where it's all connected up. 20 mil, yeah. 20 mil. That's me. Now, I've never seen that before on a laser level. It gives you the measurements, so it tells you how high you are. So we're 20 mil high here. Which is a slight hump in the middle, which is not a problem. Like in, in, in the space of all that, it's only 20 mil. 20 mil in a massive area. And like area. you say, it's at the join as well, so. Yeah. So what that tells us is, the best thing we can do is when we do our corners, all the corners are bang on level, which is perfect. So you, you just work to gauge, but because we've got a few high spots, we'll, we'll, lift, the we'll lift the corners up, probably about, bump it up about 20 mil. Yeah. And once we bump that up, everything else will follow then. We don't have to start cutting blocks, which will really set us back, so. We just have to bump the corners up slightly and we're going to get over it all. If we might just have to take a bit off here, but it's only in the middle. If the concrete has ever seen this, bloody well done. Yeah. It's his son. It's his son, the, the, the concrete. Did I have the cast? Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely job. That is the best slab I've ever seen. Me too. It's even smooth as well. Yeah. It's not like... Chuff. Yeah. 
I'm in shock. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to get the tape measure out, mark it out. I think we'll put some nails in. Yeah, come with the level. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to um, set it out, screw it up, put us, put us, put um, make some nails in the corners, and then we're going to head off home and get the get our level set up at home. Then back this afternoon when the materials arrive, and hopefully we'll get the wagon up to the slab and get the locks dropped on the slab. Um, yeah, one of those nice little jobs out in the country. It's a shame about that thing. <laughs> See you later. These are measurements 12 meters long, 5.5 wide, and there's our diagonal. Let's check it for square 13.2. And we're back. It's getting on a bit though now, it's about half past three. So uh, Alex has started loading out. We've got a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs, I think. Seven, no more, there's about 600 and odd packs. Sorry. We've got 600 and odd blocks, not sure how many exactly. Four tonne of sand, cement. So that's all ready for us to go. Alex just started loading out. We've set out before, so we're going to get all the, mar all the lines marked and then um, basically we're just going to blast it out, see how many we get out today. Uh, we were going to set the corners up and run the bottom coursing, but it's getting on a bit now to be putting the mix in. So we'll probably just um, use our new magic tool, the Fitz brick. You can just set one block and pull a line on it. And we're not, run we're not running it in one go, we're going to, because we've got an expansion in the centre, we're going to run it in sections, so we're going to run that section, and that section, and that section. So all this, it's all going to be roughly the same. This is 5.5. That's six. That's six. So we'll do it section by section. It's just more manageable. And you haven't got loads of boards out get going off in the sunshine. Yeah. Um, so that's it for now. So um, maybe a bit of time lapse. So I will do a bit of loading out. So I'll put you up in this tree. Okay, as you've seen in the time lapse, got a few in, got ourselves 200 in to make a start. As I said, this one's solid, 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 single door, window, French doors, small window, and uh, that's what it's for. 
full size snooker table. So, um, yeah, that's us for today. We're back on site tomorrow. We're, um, uh, we've got a phone call off Richie to join us today. Uh, to tell us the truss is ready. That was this morning. So, um, took the laser level back, put all the levels on our garden, put all the levels on here. So, hopefully, we'll get the two pipes cracked off in two days. Hopefully. At a push three up to scaffold height, ready for the table lifts. So that'll take us to. So should be back here hopefully Thursday, but more like Friday. Just hope the weather holds because it's um, it's great. So yeah, we'll get ourselves off now. We'll get ourselves home.